In this video, I'm going to run through how you can easily bridge your DYDX tokens from Ethereum to the DYDX chain. To get started, you'll need to navigate to bridge.dydx.trade, which you can find a link to below, and that will take you through to this page that we have in front of us here. The first step is to connect your wallet that is holding ETH DYDX. For this demo, I'm going to use MetaMask, and you'll be prompted to generate a DYDX chain address for the wallet you are using. Go ahead and hit send request. Here you'll just be required to sign a couple of onboarding transactions. One is just to generate the network address and the other is just to double check that the wallet you're using is supported. It's worth noting that these won't cost any gas so I can go ahead and get these confirmed. And you can see here that I now have my DYDX chain address and also the amount of ETH DYDX in my wallet that is ready to be bridged. So depending on how much of this total you want to migrate, you can just hit max here if you simply want to transfer everything across or just enter the amount and you'll have a little preview here of tokens that you'll have left on Ethereum. The next thing you'll need to do is select the destination of where you want your bridged assets to go. This pre-selected option is going to send your tokens to the same wallet and specifically the address that was just generated. So you can see from this drop down menu here that we have two different addresses. One is the source address where the tokens will be bridged from and the DYDX chain address where they will be bridged to. This second option just below here can be used if you want to bridge tokens to a separate address or want to send them to any third party custodial service. And if this is the case, just make sure that it's a DYDX mainnet address that you are using here. But for now, I'm just going to use the first option and go with the DYDX chain address that was just generated. This box here just gives you a snapshot of how your balances would look after bridging. So you have the balance of ETH DYDX that you'll have left on Ethereum, the balance of wrapped ETH DYDX, which you receive on Ethereum, and this is on a one-to-one -one basis for any ETH DYDX that you are sending to the smart contract. This wrapped version that you receive can't be bridged to V4, but it will have the same governance rights on V3 as ETH DYDX. And finally, the balance of DYDX tokens that you will receive on the DYDX chain. So if you're happy with how everything is looking here, go ahead and hit preview migration. And you can see the estimated timeline for these transactions to finalize on the Ethereum network and finally settle on the DYDX chain. It's worth noting that this does take roughly around 40 hours to complete, but this is really just to ensure the security of the protocol. And once this migration has started, you're actually able to track its progress in this pending migrations tab here. And this is actually one that I started earlier just to give you an idea of how it would look once the process is underway. So by clicking approve, we are allowing the smart contract to utilize our tokens for migration. And there'll be a very small gas fee to pay here for approving this allowance, which will take a few seconds to confirm. And lastly, you'll just need to check these boxes confirming that you understand how long the migration will take for your DYDX tokens to be credited on the new chain. And also that you understand your previous DYDX tokens on Ethereum will be locked in the wrapped ETH DYDX smart contract. So this is all set. I'm going to hit confirm migration and for the last time you'll be prompted to sign this on your MetaMask which I can do. And once that is all confirmed you'll notice that the interface will start to show you everything that's happening. We can see the Ethereum transaction processing and you can even hit this link to see your transaction on the Block Explorer. And it will take around 20 minutes for everything to be confirmed on the Ethereum side and for your migration to be visible in the pending migrations tab. Alternatively, you can go over to Mintscan, which is a popular block explorer for Cosmos, and paste your DYDX address in here. And if you scroll down, you'll see that the Ethereum transaction has been acknowledged and that your assets are in the process of migrating. And once everything is finalized, you'll be able to see the available token amount here. And you can also follow this across on the migration dashboard as well. So to get started with bridging your assets, click on the link below or head to bridge.dydx.trade.